I am ashamed. Oh yeah. <gasps> walk away, walk away. Tis the season for spring cleaning, apparently. I don't know about you, but when life gets busy, my spaces start to feel a little cluttered, a little messy, and that's not conducive for a happy brain. So this week, I'm gonna clean up some of the messes that have just been lingering around my house, getting rid of the things that have also been lingering around my house, and having a general good springy time. We're also gonna work on getting my closet sale items listed, so if you're interested in that, the link is down in the description, but we'll talk about the details at the end of the video. So if there's a mess in your home or your space that you've been meaning to take care of, come along with me. Feel free to have this video running in the background while you're doing what you gotta do, and we'll get through this together. There's no major before and after shots. It's really just trying our best to declutter our spaces and our minds. So without further ado, let's get into it. Also, hi, I'm Kathleen. Thanks for being here. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I am ashamed. Oh. Good morning. It's early. I have like two hours before I have to start work, so I could I could clean this room in two hours, theoretically. The mess doesn't even stop here. Ugh. Why? I guess it's time to go into my mind palace and get busy. Let's go up the energy. One, two, one, two. Okay, scratch that. The energy is immediately stalled because I just remember that I've had a hamper full of clean laundry in my laundry room for over a week. And I need the hamper to put all this dirty stuff in. It's fine, it's fine. Pajamas. Socks. You know, I should probably put these into sorted piles and then just put the piles away at once. Look at all these juicy, juicy t-shirts. I've been in a bit of a graphic tee kick these days. I mean, I always am, but I think it was after I made these guys. My love was really rekindled. Wait. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Frick! I've had these giveaway t-shirts all ready to be shipped for so long. <laughs> if you're waiting for your giveaway t-shirt, I'm gonna send it out today. <sighs> Add it to the list. <laughs> Listen, it gets to a certain point where there's just clothing everywhere and you don't know what's dirty or not. So you just give it a little sniff. Or a big sniff if you're feeling freaky. Oh yeah, dirty. <laughs> so gross. And I gotta say, not all of this mess is mine, but most of it is. I'm curious, when you just have like a huge conundrum in front of you, like a very messy room, how do you tackle it? What's your order of operations? I'm an organizer. Like I like to put the things that belong together together like I kind of mentioned. And then so I can just put big chunks of things away at once. That's how I do groceries too. Like I unpack everything, just put it all on the counter and then group it like by fridge and pantry and freezer. Are we really talking about grocery strats right now? Is that what this channel has come to? Oh, my Moogle. Sometimes you just need to go in grimace mode. Let's go to the post office. Seems like a good day for the tomato soup. I don't know why, I'm just feeling it.
How long have you been there? All right, well, since you're here, I'll give you an update. It's been a couple days. I dropped those packages off at the post office and then I got busy with work, mostly just that. <laughs> so I've had to pause on my cleaning game and decluttering game for a couple days, but sorry, I burped. We have friends visiting from SF for the eclipse, which is tomorrow. And they're gonna come over for dinner and a movie tonight. So I gotta get going, you know? I gotta get this office looking better. So that's what we're gonna work on today. Let me just show you. Can't even open the door all the way. Okay, so a big problem here is that while we were cleaning up downstairs and other rooms in the house, anything that belonged in my office, I kind of just threw in here and didn't put away yet. So that's why there's literally stuff just covering the floor like a gross carpet. There's just stuff on literally every surface. So I think first we need a method for the madness. I'm gonna make some piles. You know, I love my pile of like items and then we'll find a home for them honestly i think i just have too much stuff in here too like there's just not enough room look at this awesome crochet clown tote bag that someone named chris sent me by the way thank you chris you sit there you relax and i'll get started and if i get off track it's your job to whip me into shape don't let me get distracted <laughs> By the way, I'm listening to The Last Graduate by Naomi Novik. It's the sequel to Deadly Education. A Deadly Education? <laughs> Clearly I know all the details of the things I read. Anyways, I gobbled A Deadly Education up. I really liked it. It's like, if you haven't read it or heard of it, it's kind of like Lovecraftian Harry Potter. Like Harry Potter if Hogwarts wanted to kill you. <laughs> and so did everyone else all the time. I think the thing I really like about it one, characters are actually likable, which is important to me. And two, there's so many rules to the school and to the world and so much world building that I just, I eat it up. Whoa. There's also a lot of like long exposition and a lot of telling and not showing, but it's fine. I'm into it. Also, I finally convinced Gus to start reading Gideon the Ninth. Let me know if any of you are like this, but I'm always recommending the books I read to Gus. And then when he finally does, it feels so fulfilling. I'm like, I did it. And guess what? He always ends up loving it. And then we get to talk about it. <sighs> life is good. I mean, besides the pigsty I'm living in, life is pretty good. <gasps> Those are important. So I haven't been thrifting that much recently. So in the couple times that I have gone, it's just been for like a little pop in, just look around or to grab something specific, but not like a full video's worth of thrifting. Anyways, do you wanna see a couple random little things I found? I'm proud of these. I found these little, I don't know if they're vintage. They kind of look like they're from the 90s maybe, judging by the tag. Swim trunks for Gus. Four bucks. These were in the women's shorts section. So you never know what you're gonna find. I found a little lavender like workout tank top cute five bucks when did you get this stuff oh when i was thrifting the panels the wooden panels from last week i got a really cool like vase urn shaped candle i think it's a mary Kay candle actually smells really good like lilacs and then i found some heavy duty dickies overalls and that's it i'm so congested right now there's a lot of dust going on a haircut. There are two things that have been looming over my head that are just so silly and they're both the same size which is interesting. So I don't typically lose stuff. 
which you might find surprising. But like if there's something that I use every day, I generally know where it is or know around where it is. But suddenly, a couple months ago, I couldn't find my AirPod case, like the charging case, and I couldn't find my car keys. And both these things are like this size, and they also are usually found together, which leads me to believe maybe they're in a bag together somewhere, or maybe that bag was taken from me. But I looked through literally every every bag I have in all of my coat pockets, can't find them. So I'm finally buying a little replacement case so I can charge these bad boys. It's only like $10, which is wild. The replacement car keys will be significantly more expensive, but hey, we do what we can. Is this the content you crave? Or is this the content you crave? The moment we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna pull the things out of the stuff that we decluttered weeks ago from my closet that I'm gonna list for sale for y'all. To have and enjoy. Blazer. Now listen, the pits are a little bleached and that's how I got this, okay? It's clean. It's just a little stained up. Even on the tag up here, there's a little stain but it's cool. My Chemical Romance-esque leather jacket. It's gone. Filson field coat. It's gone. Now some of these items are going to be a little more expensive because they are nicer or rarer, like that Filson jacket and maybe that leather jacket. But I'm going to try and keep other things super reasonable for y'all. The Stella McCartney top is going. These amazing handmade vintage trousers that have a super wide leg. They kind of look like golf pants. As you can see, they're super tiny. So one of y'all super tinies can enjoy it. Fairy tale lilac dress is going. Let's see, let's see. Butter yellow dress, rainbow dress. Wow, getting rid of a lot. Silky beautiful butterfly drop waist dress. Going blue vintage lacy guy, and then this peach. Maybe I'll keep the peach set actually. Blue dress is definitely going though. Da, 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 da. I think this can go. Well, free people dress. Blazer can go. Vintage lime green dress can go. Okay, I think that's it for now. I actually think this green vintage gingham floor length coat can probably go too. It's just too small and that's okay. Sweet. That means I have to take a bunch of pictures, get some listings up, and we'll talk about the sale details at the end of the video. Okay? Stay tuned. My mom got me this for Valentine's Day. The OG stinky. Oh, we got a spinner. Oh, you're not gonna spin anymore? You're just gonna sit? Skelly. Wow, where'd you get those? It is a gloomy, rainy spring day, but I thought one way to brighten it up and to take a little break from cleaning would be to make a little bouquet together. As you can see, we have bluebells absolutely overrunning our landscaping. So we're gonna snag some of those, maybe some daffodiliums, and make some really cute bouquets. Isn't this just the cutest? What's this called? Water pot? Oh my gosh. Watering can, whoa, that you've ever seen. I thrifted it, it has rocks in it. All right, we're going to be very selective. I'll take you and I'll take you. Doesn't smell like anything. And you, wow, these are gonna be pretty. Ooh. So I've been watching movies, specifically scary movies, which has been fun. I've seen three in the past like two weeks. I saw Late Night with the Devil, I think that's what it's called, Immaculate, and The Thing for the first time. And boy oh boy do I have thoughts. Here's my ranking. The Thing, Night with the Devil, and Immaculate. <laughs> the Thing's a classic. All I knew about it was it was like an Antarctic alien, kind of. And it was so cool to see the source of so many horror tropes that you see today. I won't spoil anything, but I was like, oh, that's why they do that in all scary movies. And the blue and pink color scheme the whole time, incredible. We actually watched it outside on the projector with our friends who came in from California. That was great. And then with the same friends, we saw Immaculate, which is a nun-centric tale that, um, I didn't think was very good, but we also did not walk into it expecting it to be very good. So, you know, it was just, it was fine. It was fun to go to the movies and eat some popcorn. And then we saw Late Night with the Devil. And that 
is a movie I liked very much. It's about a 70s late night show on Halloween that just descends into madness and chaos. And it's filmed in such a cool way where most of the movie is actually like you're watching the show, but then there are these interstitial cuts of the behind the scenes of what's happening during the commercial breaks. Really just interesting and fun to watch. I have certain thoughts about it, like about the ending, but I don't wanna spoil it, but if you've seen it, I'd be curious to know what you think. And if you have any recommendations for horror movies that are just interesting, like they have an interesting lot device, or I don't know, are just different, drop them down below. I do not like gore. So if it's like a gore focused storyline, it's probably not for me. There is an interesting juxtaposition about talking about horror films while picking bluebells in the spring. What can I say? I'm a woman of contrast. <laughs> Walk away, walk away. Jeez Louise, you try, you know, you try to set up an aesthetic flower bouquet shot and sometimes the universe says, you know what, maybe not. Maybe not this time. But I mean, come on. Oh, Hotlanta. Okay, okay, okay. Cute. <laughs> by how large of a time span this video covers. I missed uploading last week just because we had friends in town and we were busy. So we've had so much extra time together and it's kind of fun. I feel like collecting clips like this, like for an entire month and then posting more of a monthly vlog every month would be fun. Am I doing this right? Better luck next time. By the way, I got my nails done yesterday. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Do we remember the flail purse that we painted together? Still my favorite. Well, sometimes you just gotta get a little manicure that matches your hand-painted thrifted coach purse. You wanna see the best, the best part? Oh, spiky ball on the thumb. How can I show you this? <laughs> when the nails match the purse. <laughs> if you're in Columbus, I went to Fuzz and Brittany was my nail wizard. So thank you, Brittany. Thank you for making my vision come into reality. I get my nails done like once a year, honestly, because I just kind of forget that manicures are a thing. But now I might be a nail girly, you know? Where my where my nail girlies at? In the chat. <laughs> well, what'd you think? I feel so much better. It just kind of feels like I have my ducks somewhat in a row or they're like on the way to being in a row and that feels better than my ducks being in different dimensions, you know what I mean? So, closet sale details. I have all the items listed on my Depop. It's open internationally, although shipping is obviously more expensive for that. And there aren't too many items, but feel free to follow me there and I'll post stuff whenever I can in the future. We're gonna donate the proceeds of this sale specifically to the PCRF and then I'll use my corporate match to double it. Your purchase will be going towards something good. Next week's video, I'm very excited about and somewhat intimidated by. It's something I've been wanting to do for a really, 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 really long time. We're going to be thrift flipping and making some lighting, some lamps, some lanterns. Are we gonna use paper? Are we gonna use plaster? I don't know. Well, I kind of know, I have an idea. Future Kathleen, you got this. Anyways, if you wanna come back for that, then please feel free to subscribe if you'd like, I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you have a very stinky week, in a good way, of course. All right, I love you. Bye. Bye.